Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Rin here. Uh, I hope you've all been well. In today's video, I'm a little bit more relaxed. As you can see, I have no makeup on and uh, kind of still in my dressing gown. <laughs> but all for a good reason. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing uh, some tips on uh, recreating Chang'e's makeup look from the Netflix film that I recently watched called Over the Moon. Now, I absolutely fell in love with that film and I watched it twice in a row, literally the night before and then I watched it in the morning as well. Because, I, I don't know, maybe it, it just struck a chord for me because it's um, about Asian cultures. Um, I also had a karaoke moment the other night as well, uh, poor housemates. I am super, super in love with the character Chang'e um, and more specifically her makeup style. I know it is a uh, animation, but I love animations, and um, her look is a very, very uh, distinctive um, kind of oriental styled look, um, which I am very, very excited to recreate today. I'm not going to spoil too much about the film, but I'll tell you a little bit about Chang'e's character. Now. Her character represents the legendary goddess uh, who rose to the moon and left her one true love behind on earth. It is quite a sad love story, um, but the uh, overall film style and vibe is quite upbeat. There are some kind of romantic elements to it as well. So there are many different versions of this legend, but the one that they selected for the film tells the story of Chang'e, who is married to an archer named Ho Yi uh, many, many thousands of years ago, and they're both immortals living in the uh, realms of heaven. And uh, one day, the ten sons of the Jade Emperor, who is the ruler of the heavens, basically cause havoc and chaos on earth and burning everything to ashes. So the Jade Emperor goes up to Ho Yi, who is the uh, husband of Chang'e, and asks him to help solve the problem and stop his ten sons from causing more issues on earth. Ho Yi agrees on the mission and uh, he goes to the ten sons and asks them to stop. And he was not expecting the amount of rejection he'd get from them. So he had no choice but to shoot nine out of the ten sons with his bow and arrow and uh, leaving one remaining. I think another side reason why we have one son, apparently. This led to the Jade Emperor being very, very angry with Ho Yi and he ended up banishing both Ho Yi and his wife Chang'e to Earth and turning them into mortals. Because of that, Chang'e and Ho Yi was going through a lot of distress and um, was not handling very well. So Ho Yi goes off to try and find the um, elixir of life to bring back immortality. And he goes to the Queen Mother of the West. Um, I'm not sure if, if she's like some magical person, but she for some reason has the vial of the elixir. And she hands it over to Ho Yi and tells him that he has to share this potion or this vial with his wife. So he goes home and he mentions it to his wife and tells her to not touch it until he returns from his business trip. He goes off, his wife is clearly distressed and for some reason ends up drinking the whole, the entire vial and um, she ends up rising up to um, the moon because she's banished from the heavens. Whilst she's rising up to the moon, Ho Yi is very, very angry that she didn't listen to him and she, he ends up chasing her and um, right at the last moment, he couldn't bring himself to shoot her because he still loved her. This is quite sad. Uh, so they split up, obviously. She's on the moon, he's on the earth. And there are actually many, many versions of the ending of this. Uh, but one of the endings um, that I heard about is that Ho Yi ends up building a palace on the sun. So that represents the yang and then um, Chang'e represents the yin because she's on the moon. This is the reason why in Asian culture, we celebrate um, the mid-autumn festival on the 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar. Uh, that's when the harvest moon shines the brightest. It's said that that's also when Ho Yi and Chang'e reunites on the moon. 
So there's a, a love story behind it. Uh, usually that time you get mooncakes and that's why in a lot of the uh, packaging you always see two lovers um, at the front of the packaging with uh, a rabbit uh, because the rabbit is apparently the one that follows Chang'e to the moon. Uh, well, at least that's what it says in the film. Um, so that's the uh, full story. I haven't given away any spoilers yet, so I'll leave it on that note for you to go and watch it yourself. Anyway, back to the main point of the video. I'm super excited to share some tips on how to recreate the makeup look as well. It's going to be quite experimental because I haven't actually tried it, but I've planned it out in my head, I've got all the makeup products in front of me, which is uh, a little bit embarrassing to show because it's a huge mess. But I've already prepped my skin, so it's all nicely moisturized. And what I've used um, is the uh, Glossier Super Bounce um, to give a lot more hydration on the skin because for some reason my skin feels like a desert today. It's so dry. Um, I've also used the Hydra Beauty Camellia Repair Mask as well on top and as an additional product around the eyes I also use the Chanel Sublimage La Crème Yeux uh, just to brighten the under eyes. Um, so hopefully the skin is ready to receive some makeup and uh, yes I hope you stay watching um, and if you're curious as well uh, to learn with me then Gather your makeup, gather your brushes, and we can do it together. Apply a layer of makeup base from the center of the face and outwards. I'm using my Chanel Le Blanc Light Creator Brightening Makeup Base to counteract dullness on my skin. Next, prime your eyes with an eye primer to enhance longevity of your eye makeup. Sculpt your brows with a chosen product. I'm using a pencil for a natural, defined look. The colours for this look are based on the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm applying Primer Vera from the inner corners to midway through the lid and up to the socket line, only lightly diffusing it up to the brows. I'm also applying this light reflecting colour on the tear duct and inner corners of the lower lash line. Next, I'm pinpointing the outer socket with this orange shade, blending it outwards and upwards reaching the tips of the ears. Here, I'm also taking my time to blend and fuse the colours carefully without interrupting the lighter shade. Taking a deeper red shade, intensify the contours from the waterline and crease for depth. And using a finer brush, work the same deep red shade on the lower lash line and lifting the eyes. Add more depth near the top lash line to outline the eyes. Dress the centre of the eyelid with a gold shimmer for a dazzling finish and complete by taking it round the inner corners of the bottom lash line. Clean up any residual eyeshadow that's fallen onto the skin with a cotton bud. Line the eyes with a liquid liner such as the NYX Epic Ink Liner for more definition.
create a softer outline on the lower lash line with a pencil liner for an illusion of longer lashes. Carefully lift and curl the lashes with an eyelash curler. Finish with a coat of black mascara to set the lashes in place. Now onto the complexion, I'm using a creamy cushion foundation to create an airy light to medium coverage. I like how hydrating it feels on the skin. Next I'm adding structure to the face with the light dust of this contouring powder under the cheekbones and on the jawline. To lift the cheekbones, I'm gently applying a softer blend of highlighting powder. For me, a makeup look is never complete without a blush. I'm using a peachy cream blush from Glossier to add a warm, honeyed glow to the skin. I like using my fingers to tap it onto the skin for a natural finish. On the lips, I'm using a warm red lip liner to outline and form the base colour. Finalise the look with a fiery red lipstick. I've chosen this highly pigmented satiny finish from Chanel Rouge Alleur in Passion. And the look is complete. Have a little go yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and also enjoyed learning about our Asian culture. If you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, Over the Moon, then I really recommend you to watch it. It's so, so good. And um, I promise you, this is going to be one of those which has a plot twist that you wouldn't have expected. Um, maybe don't watch the trailer because I know the trailer does give a lot away. Uh, I didn't watch the trailer before, I just clicked on it and um, watched the movie from scratch basically, not knowing what would happen. If you enjoyed this video, then do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to stay in tune as well for more. I'll be back very, very soon. In the meantime, I hope you have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.